Last chunk of deck boxes that have the field centers are now live. A few people said, hey, Robbie, can we can we put these back up? You know, this is your chance to get them. I'll leave a link down below so you can grab yours. Today. Let's pass on over to Weekend Market Watch, shall we? I'm big 30% of you that have not smashed the evolving crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys miss out. More honest content. Hey, you know, we talked about this earlier yesterday, but today they're going to have a restock of sleeves and stuff on Sleeve Chief. If you use discount code MQ40, you'll get the chance to save. And, uh, you know, they have this and a cute little hero package as well today. So give them a little check out. I'll leave a link down below so you can see what's going on there today. All right. Hey, Vulcan the Divine. Hmm. This is one of those cards that you kind of hop in your old time machine for and you go, oh, okay. You know, these, these ramp up pretty quick here. Three, six, five dollars. Um, you know, these, these do hit $10 actually, which I personally think is a little bit insane compared to things. Shonen Jump versions down here, um, also had a pretty big uptick, which is very interesting to me is usually the jump promo is the slightly more expensive one, but doesn't appear like that was actually, you know, the case for things here. So this was uh, one of those little interesting things here that you kind of, you do a little bit of a look around for and you go, wow, thank you, old format stuff. Also, you know, it is uh, essentially entirely generic on a level six. So who knows? Maybe there's some modern era shenanigans you can pull off with this, but I, this pretty much roots back to, you know, slightly older formats. Invocation, you know, no matter how things go, actually, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised. We should be probably expecting the alt art for this pretty soon. Actually, I would say probably Battles of Legend, if we had to guess, because that was the same set that, you know, the Engage and the Shizuku were in in Japan. So we should probably see that dropped into the battle set here as well. Um, but these alties, um, the last one moved on 524 at $79 and then 99 and then 83 Um these have kind of been retracing back. This isn't a card that you necessarily see people going through here, you know, eliminating off the market every single day. No, 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 no. But it is one of those cards that it is very interesting to kind of check, or yeah, to, you know, check on its history, see how things are kind of going here and whatnot. But I don't know, Invocation, it's just one of those cards that you just go, hmm, secrets still look like they're coming in seven-ish dollars. Uh, this was for, this was the Battles set one. Yeah, these are five, six bucks. Okay. Well, if these are that much, then I'm kind of curious. The original, oh, no, this was the Super. The Shadows of All Hall is now a dollar. Um, that's actually hilarious to me that we've uh, we've hit that point now. Um, yeah, Fusions Enforcers, six bucks. Okay, so both secrets. Actually, the Battles of Legend Armageddon one's a little bit more expensive than Fusion Enforcers. Okay, sure, I love this market some days. Royal Oppression for Dual Terminals. Holy moly, these are $14. Uh, gold Rares are $15 as well. You know, for, for this being like a, a really good older format card, I mean, how many older formats can you go through and want to play this? There's a lot of them, but it's actually not as pricey as I thought. Um, actually, these have kind of gone down quite a lot. Uh, the Worldwide Release reprints, <laughs> literally $14. Commons look about the same. Uh, to be honest with you here, it universally looks about the same across the board. Um, I'm not really surprised about that. Personally, the Gold Series 1 is a must. I don't, I don't care how bad people think that gold looks. Gold 4 was definitely one of the slightly better looking golds out there, at least to have. Number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Well, for you uh, Photon players out there, Galaxy players, that's a $52 light play. Another one sold for 53. Wow. You know, a lot of these gold rares, or excuse me, a lot of these ghost rares, um, they've had a little bit of retracing. Yeah, these are $53 for light play. That's really good, actually. That tells me that more and more have come onto the market and more and more people are doing things. Now, the ulti here, this is this is a nice looking ulti. Um, wow, near mint for 20? Another new mint first set for 34. Um, yeah, you can get a light play on them here for $19, 34. Um, yeah, these are these are pretty decent. You get a mod play at 27, and then a light play down there for 27 as well for first dead light play. 
that's actually not bad across the board. Okay, interesting stuff. Uh, the Ultras, three bucks. Battles of Legend versions, you're yeah, actually almost two dollars for Late's Revenge. Huh. Megaton versions are also a little bit. I'm not all that surprised to see that these have actually uh, even like the maximum gold versions are a dollar. Wow. Good stuff. When you can go back into your bulk and find something like this of value, it's actually not bad. Tunings. Okay, so we've we've been we've been tracking tuning for a little while. This is gonna be one of those interesting cases of, you know, the closer that we get to the actual release of this, if we're gonna see something. Mod play 70, mod play 72, damage for 30. Um view, I don't like that. You, you're trying to sell that for 60? You, I'm out. Uh, 80, you can get a German here for 95. It looks like um, across the board here that tunings are, uh, yeah, there's the ramp up, 150 still. Yeah, the market has not cooled down on tuning whatsoever. Obviously, once you get down into the low rarities for tunings, you know, these dollar fifties, you're, you're good on the lower rarities, that's for sure. Uh, Kurti Kardas, 230. And what are our secrets going for? Uh, looks like these continue to go. 63. We bought a damage for 15 and another new for 48. Lowest right now is 53. Looks like there's a little bit of a spiral down here for these. We'll have to wait and see, you know, how the format actually processes this card. Um, it's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, Vicious a Stroud. 142, 146 of these available right now. Uh, 10 bucks, $8, and $9. You're looking at about 10 bucks for this card. A lot of people are looking at like Nana DM stuff and giving it consideration for pickup. Exodon Knights, $20 right now for these. 15 bucks for the tins, and then $8 for the Battles of Light's Revenge. You know, all, all things considered for this particular card, this has been one of the most consistent cards, kind of holding value uh, across the board. And uh, I see Gamer's Choice up here has one for $18. So that's kind of interesting if you're interested in acquiring a 4-in-1. Uh, let's see here. $304 right now for Rose. Oh, man. Kagari, what are you doing? I love the fact that these just tanked down. The exact opposite happened. You can get a Portuguese for $150 the way it looks. Um, yeah, these look like they're accelerating up. Sure. Um, I don't really have much to really say about um, all of the Sky Striker buyouts that we've been seeing. Like, this card has been a ride. These are still up the raise. Did these finally topple over 45? Yeah, it looks like yeah, you're looking at 45 now on raise. Um, 25 still on, kind of. Engages. <laughs> nice mod play for seven dollars i think that yeah these are still 12 to 13. once that reprint alt hits the market i think a lot of things are going to go very sideways for a lot of this stuff especially depending on how much they reprint um if it's just those multi-roll first eds um have been a ride as well yup these these go up very 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 quickly and yeah, you're still looking at 11 dollars for these see everything sky striker still all over the place heat waves Wow, these actually are getting bought out again. Three dollars and three fifty. If oh, actually these are more than that. Wow. Well, if you don't have heat waves, um, good luck. That's bad. Actually, that those have reached that point, especially on both versions. What? Okay. Splash Mage, I don't know if you have paid attention much to this, but this is one of those interesting little ones you just kind of take a look and go, wow, Splash Mages are actually $2 a piece right now for um, the Ghost from the Past version. One of the more pricey Ghost from the Past cards. Danglongs are 16 bucks. You know, so many people are so excited for Danglongs. They're like, oh my gosh, like this changes everything. I haven't really seen anything at all really try to play this. I think this is just something more creative overall. Uh, Labyrinth cards are also very expensive. Um, I just wanted to check in down here. These are back down to 30. That's good, considering the fact that these were trying to push $40 literally two weeks ago, or a week ago, and then these are settling back up. We'll see if these actually go back up to 17 bucks, but okay. And I also wanted to give a shout out here to uh, Duelist Pack uh, Explosion. There's a whole lot of boxes on the market for 37 ships, so if this was something you wanted to open up, 
Uh, this was one of the more expensive ones that I could find, actually. But yeah, they're on the market. So please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.